Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Huntington Beach, California today at Cleveland Strixon headquarters. I'm talking with Zach Oakley, product manager for Cleveland Golf, and we're talking about new launcher HB irons right now specifically. Two new sets. We've got the CBX, we've got the launcher HB. Uh, exciting new products, great uh, game improvement options for players, but also very unique in, in the way both were constructed. Let's talk about each of these. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got the launcher CBX irons here. Um, these are a brand new offering from Cleveland Golf. Um, they're kind of your traditional cavity back design um, in that they, you know, they feature kind of the full undercut cavity, but they've got some pretty cool technologies. Um, specifically, you know, Cleveland Golf being a wedge company, a lot of people, uh, you know, they, they don't see irons as scoring tools, but we see irons just like wedges as scoring tools. Um, and so we've put a lot of technologies in this that are featured in some of our wedges. Um, one of the first things you'll notice is the V-sole. Um, and so that's going to help you get through the turf, especially if you catch it a little bit fat. You're going to see more consistent distances. You're going to see better ball speeds that way. Um, you also see on the face, we actually have our tour zip grooves and the double laser milling that we feature on some of our, our premium wedges. Um, so you're going to see more spin, more consistent spin from the rough. Um, another thing that we have is field balancing technology. So what that is, is, you know, in irons, you don't see it as much as with wedges because um, there's a little bit more weight in, in the hosel in a wedge just because it's a little longer. But you'll still see um, that hosel is just kind of dead weight that pulls the center of gravity um, more heel bias. So with the field balancing technology, we drill a cavity into the hosel and we move that center of gravity a little bit more towards the toe because that's where most golfers are hitting it. Right. And I know also with these irons, there's sort of a progressive construction approach to help optimize performance through the set. Yeah, so what we, we spent a lot of time uh, trying to get the shape right on these. Um, and so what you'll see is, you know, in your short irons, uh, they're a little bit more compact, uh, you know, so they look nice. You know, you feel like you've got some control with them. Um, but as you progress into the long irons, they're a little bit low profile. They have a little bit thicker top line, a little bit longer blade lengths, but they're, they're not bulky at all. Now, completely different animal is the Launcher HB irons. And for longtime Cleveland fans, this iron will take them back sort of to the high bore XL irons. Yeah. Uh, yeah. More sort of, especially in the long irons, again, progressive, where you have more of sort of a hybrid look mm -hmm. down to a more traditional sort of short iron. Tell us a little bit about the technology story behind these. Yeah, so the Launcher HB irons, uh, definitely a hole in the market. Uh, you know, they're, they're, like you said, there's a lot of people out there that played, you know, HB3s or 588 altitudes. Um, and, you know, there wasn't, they're looking to replace that set and there's nothing out there. And so the Launcher HB irons really fill that hole. Um, like we're talking about, we've spent a lot of time with shaping. And so you'll look at with, you know, the short irons, they're a little bit, they're more iron-like. Um, and then they progress into hybrid-like long irons uh, that are going to help you get the ball up in the air. They're going to be super forgiving and super easy to hit. Um, this is a full progressive set, you know, full hollow body construction. Um, they also feature a high strength steel face. So you're going to see, you know, more ball speeds on miss hits, you know, all over the face. Um, and they have that high bore crown similar to the Launcher HB Woods, um, which allows us to kind of move that weight low and deep so golfers have an easier time getting it up in the air. And the hollow construction you talked about really helps you sort of establish that low deep CG, yeah. make it easy to hit in the air, but also allows you to do some extreme perimeter weighting, which makes them super forgiving when you're missing like toe or heel side. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, kind of, you know, like we're talking about this patented design with the high bore crown, you know, we really, we've seen a lot of success with that in past products. And, you know, we really wanted to bring it back because like I said, there's a lot of golfers out there that really were missing this in an iron. Yeah, and I had a chance to do some testing with these and, you know, they're pretty amazing. <laughs> You I'm know, not surprised to hear the sales numbers you've done with these since they've come out. Yeah, because they know. are so easy to hit, so forgiving, so easy to get in the air. You know, I mean, obviously, it's a different kind of shape, but if you're a player who needs forgiveness, needs to improve their iron play, you know, you got You need to forget about the shaping and give these a try because the performance is just unbelievable. Absolutely. I mean, they are. That's the one kind of overarching theme with all the products and the new. Uh, Cleveland, Cleveland line is they're extremely easy to hit and you're not going to get a better example of that than with the launcher HB irons.
And the one thing I also want to quickly mention is that you've got both steel and graphite yeah. stock options in both mm -hmm. of these sets, mm -hmm. uh, including the Miyazaki Sikua that's available in the woods. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about those two shafts and maybe from a profile standpoint mm -hmm. who they'd fit. Yeah, so very similar to what we have with the woods. We have a Miyazaki Sikua iron shaft. Um, it's got that T1100 in it. It's got a very low torque design. Um, so it's going to fit that golfer that needs something that's a little bit lighter, you know, usually plays graphite. Um, it's going to help them get the ball in the air. With the steel, we actually co-designed a shaft, uh, the Dynamic Gold DST-98. Um, so this is actually a high balance point offering, uh, which is basically when you take weight and you move it more towards the hands, it actually allows a golfer to swing with the same amount of effort, but they're going to get more club head speed. Um, and so this is also, it's a very, you know, lightweight, 98 grams. Um, and it's, you know, for that golfer that still wants to play steel, uh, but needs something that's lightweight. Zach, great information. We appreciate it. Thanks, Chris. Thanks.